Yeah, it's definitely uh, uh, exciting for us. I think uh, the way the, the games have been going for us, you know, playing every three nights or, you know, days off and, and everything in between, it's it's tough. So uh, being able to get in the rhythm, like you said, and just play more hockey and, um, you know, just have fun. That said, where, where do you guys feel like the game's at right now as you kind of look at, at what you've established and maybe three games left here on this homestand to kind of make that impact? Yeah, I think we definitely have things that we know that we need to be better at and, and um, I guess, be more committed to uh, certain aspects of the game and um, at the same time we have to be happy with with winning games and, and finding ways to win so um, a little bit of both and just got to continue on here and, and finish off this homestand on a, on a high note. Maybe one of those things that Daryl was just talking about the wingers he did credit you and your ability to obviously score goals and kind of keep things going as a veteran who's been in this league a while but the younger guys he was saying younger wingers need to bring more what can you kind of I don't know either say or you know impress upon them to get where they want to be? I think it's just um, for myself, especially, I've had numerous opportunities to score early. I mean, you look at last game, I think I had three, four chances in the first period alone. Um, just being able to capitalize on your opportunities, it's, it's not easy to score in this league. But at the same time, um, it's, you know, that's my job and, and that's something that I, I really take pride in. So for me, I need to uh, definitely, you know, capitalize more. And I think for, you know, the other guys, it's just a matter of committing to uh, all three zones, and the the better you are in your D zone, it uh, definitely translates uh, to offensive chances. Do you remember when you were back, maybe at some other ages uh, in your career, when you were their age, and just kind of those moments where you knew you had it, but it wasn't coming the way you wanted, and maybe some of those adjustments that you maybe just talked about had to be adjusted? Yeah, I think uh, I, I was definitely fortunate um, when I was younger in my career to have certain guys, obviously I had Daryl, um, you know, helped me out and, and critiquing my game. And um, I also had guys like Luke Robitaille and stuff like that, uh, making sure uh, stay positive and the more you shoot, eventually they're going to go in. And uh, I think that's kind of stuck with me in my whole career and that's where I'm at right now as well. What's it mean to hear that from a guy like Robitaille? He knows a thing or two about scoring. Yeah, like I said, I was very fortunate and um, just, you know, uh, with the way things were in LA when I first got there, there's a, a, a lot of support and um, it definitely helped me out. How can playing with Lucic open up my eyes as a physical player for you to cut the staff? How can that help you? Yeah, I love playing with Luch. I think, uh, well, I, mean, I know I had my best career um, playing with him as, as my left winger and um, hoping, ho hoping we can just build off, off that. and. Uh, I think we had a couple shifts last game, had some good opportunities as well. So he's playing great, uh, and I'm excited. What did you think of your buddy winning the Clemente award yesterday? Oh, he's, he does a lot for, for the city of L.A., and uh, I was very happy for him and, and his wife, Courtney. Um, I know the, the hard work that they both put in, and uh, for him to, to win that award is definitely a big achievement for that family.